गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रितेश सर एंड टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स एंड चैप्टर नेम इज कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेस ऑफ कंप्यूटर इनपुट डिवाइसेस आर दो डिवाइसेस दैट हेल्प्स यू टू गिव इनपुट इन योर कंप्यूटर लाइक कीबोर्ड माउस टच स्क्रीन joystick scanner like this and output devices are printers speakers okay so we will continue first of all we are starting with the computer system so for what, what is computer system a computer system is an electronic machine that accepts data and instructions process it and gives the desired output means it takes the input from the user and process that data and gives the output to the user for example if you say if you had if you have to add two numbers so what will be your input you will write 2 plus 2 by using your keyboard that is called input now your computer will take that input and process it means it will check what it has to do as we have typed 2 plus 2 that means you have to add two numbers so your computer will add it and gives you the desired output that is the result 4 okay so each and every machine works like this or in this concept only it also allow us to store the output for future reference means if you have computer now nowadays computers have very large storage amount of data now you have hard disks in terabytes means you can store large amount of data for your future use you can take as example of your mobile also in mobile also if you are using whatsapp and anything whenever you get the videos and you save it so that you can uh, share it to another one and you can use it later like this okay therefore a computer is capable of processing the data according to the instructions means your computer will process the data as you have given the instructions to it okay then it will accept accepting data and instructions from the user storing data and instructions in memory and presenting the results of data processing to the users means simply you can say it will take the input from the user process it and gives the desired output to the user now based on this various parts of computers can be divided into input devices processing unit output devices and storage unit so in this chapter we will talk about these four things input device processing unit output device and storage in input device i already told you keyboard mouse joystick scanner touch screen these are the examples of input device processing unit is your cpu central processing unit of your computer simply we call it brain of the computer okay output devices examples are that uh, your uh, uh, sorry speaker your monitor your printers like this okay and storage unit examples are uh, your uh, pen drive memory card your cd dvd your hard disk these are the examples of storage unit we will talk about them later okay next now we are starting with first input devices so what are input devices input devices accepts instructions and data from the user and convert them into a binary form that the computer understands now what is this binary form first of all look your computer understands only one language that is called binary language that is in the form of 0 and 1 0 means off 1 means on except this your computer doesn't understand any single language okay so input device accepts instructions and data from the user and convert them into a binary form so that the computer can understand it what you want to say and what what you want to instruct in previous classes you have already learned about some com common input devices such as keyboard mouse scanner and microphone now we will discuss them again one by one first of all we are uh, starting with keyboard i think all of you have seen the keyboard okay so the keyboard is the most commonly used input device its structure is like an electronic typewriter 
and allow you to enter inputs into the computer by setting by pressing a set of keys the keys of keyboard are classified into six main types these are the six main types of your keys alphanumeric function space bar and arrow keys control keys numeric keys and special keys i'll show you in the diagram also so you can say keyboard is simply used to type anything in your computer without that your work will be tedious you face problem if you want to type anything in your computer or in your mobile without that you will not be able to use your both the devices properly okay now extra shift alt tab backspace delete these are some special keys they have some special use in your computer okay now look at the diagram of your keyboard this is the diagram of your keyboard look and it is labeled look this area this one is called your arrow keys here we have enter key this the biggest key of the keyboard is called a space bar key and here we have from this corner to this corner and from here to here these keys are called alphabet keys okay here we have caps lock key just below it we have shift just below that we have control just near that we have window key here we have alt keys they have different different uses so we will discuss them in our lab okay so this is a structure or you can say the diagram of your keyboard now next Second is mouse, the most common input device. The mouse is a pointing device that allow user to point to a specific position on the screen. As I am doing right now, look, this is called pointing to a specific position. It has two buttons or three buttons on the top of on the top for selecting or executing different operations. Now, if you talk about the present mouses, we have three buttons: left click right click and in the center we have one wheel to move your pages up and down okay pressing the left button of mouse is known as clicking of mouse if you press any of the button that means you are clicking the mouse the mouse is placed on flat surface and move around to control arrow on a screen okay you have to keep your mouse on the flat screen if you want to make it work properly if you if you keep in uh, keep that mouse in air and if you say now sir it is not working so it will not be possible because it sends the movement from the downside you can check your mouse at the down you have one light red color light it helps you to move your mouse pointer okay the arrow showing the position of mouse on a screen known as mouse pointer this i am talking about this this pointer is called your mouse pointer okay now we have three types of uh, mouse that is ball mouse optical mouse and wireless mouse look in this ball mouse here we have one ball that is of iron <coughs> iron made ball, ball is there it senses the movement of mouse according to that it moves the mouse pointer on the screen now these are old ones now you can you will not get this type of mouse in market now in present scenario we have these two optical mouse and wireless mouse optical mouse and wireless mouse both are nearly same the only difference is in optical mouse we have wire but in wireless mouse we don't have wire you can use it without wire you can just have to put this usb type device in your computer's usb port and by using the radio waves this mouse will interact with your computer without any wire otherwise the working of both the mouses have, have say are same they have one optical light at the bottom it senses the movement of your mouse okay look an optical mouse uses light technology while the wireless mouse is using radio waves okay next joystick now joystick is simply if you say it is helpful in playing games only its main use in playing games 
as well as in your aeroplane flying okay look what it is a joystick is a pointing device consisting of a plastic stick mounted on a base this is the plastic stick this one and this is called base okay it is generally used to play games i told you it is the main purpose of this one is to help you to play games the joystick converts the movement of your hands into electrical signals and inputs them into the computer so suppose you are you are having a, any player if you want to move it on the left hand side you have to move it move your uh, joystick to left if you want to move it to right side you have to move it to right side so it produces the electric signals that helps to move the content or whatever you are using next scanner i think all of you have done the photocopy so the in that photocopy you can say nearly scanner is used but it but its main purpose is it converts your hard copy data into soft copy suppose you have your book printed in your hand now if you say sir i want to store my book in my computer so by using scanner you can do it you can convert the hard copy data to soft copy or you can say to digital format that is the main purpose of scanner okay so what is scanner a scanner is a hardware input device that helps to scan data printed on a paper and inputs it into the computer that is the main use the data may be typed text pictures graphics or even handwritten material scanners are of four main types flat bed scanners sheet fed scanners handheld scanners and drum scanners all the four pictures are given here this one is flat bed most commonly used scanner is this second one is sheet fed this is not commonly used you can find it somewhere only handheld and last one is drum scanner so i am saying this one is the most commonly used uh, scanner in the market otherwise all are costly ones okay next graphic tablet i think all of you have seen the tablets but there is a slight difference between tablet and graphic tablet look the tablets available in the market can be used as like your mobiles also you can play game uh, your games you can make the whatsapp groups and all you can uh, make the calls anything but in graphic tablets they are mainly used by the engineers or you can say designers or architects to create or to make the images sketches okay that is the main difference a graphic tablet is an input device that helps to draw images and graphics similar to the way a person draws images with a pencil and paper it may also be used to capture data or handwritten signatures it can also be used to trace an image from a piece of paper which is tapped on the surface means its main purpose is to draw images and graphics and they are mainly used by the civil engineers architects or you can say sketch artist like this okay next one is microphone in short form you know you know it as mic in our assembly also we are using the microphone okay so a microphone is an input device which is used to accept audio inputs from the user microphone contains a device called amplifier inside it this amplifier is responsible to convert your analog voice into digital voice whatever we right now whatever we speak in front of others the, it is called analog voice but as it enters into the microphone it converts into the digital voice so amplifier is the device that is responsible for this conversion okay most important it is next one is touch screen i think all of you are using mobiles nowadays so all of you are familiar with the touch screen a touch screen enables a user to choose from available options by simply touching the desired icon or menu item displayed on the computer screen with his or her fingers okay so in the touch screen we have some electrical layers in criss cross method so whenever you touch anywhere there will be a slight distraction in that area according to that that particular icon or particular object 
will execute okay when i suppose you are um, opening whatsapp so when you click on the whatsapp there will be a change in the electrical flow current in that area that makes the whatsapp to open okay next web camera i think all of you are having mobile and uh, all of you are doing whatsapp video calling so you can say it is like or it is an example of web camera look this is the picture of web camera as we don't have mobiles 15 years back that time if you want to make a video calling for that we were using this one web camera but now you have mobiles in your hands that can front camera whatever you are using to take selfies and all it is an example of web camera what is web camera a web camera allow you to capture images and inputs them into the computer it needs a constant connection to the internet in order to function these days most webcams are built inbuilt into the displays with laptops if we are talking about laptop in laptop we have this already okay so till here we have finished with the first part that is input devices now in the second class we will start with the cpu that is called your processing unit okay so we will do this in our next video till then you have to read this chapter properly and learn what is input devices what is your keyboard mouse how much keys are there in the keyboard try to learn all these things okay if you like my video please subscribe to my channel so as i upload the new video you will get it directly into your youtube account okay thank you